guys how's everybody's day going welcome back to my channel i know it's been a a hot minute since i've recorded a video on here but i figured by the title of this video if you haven't read it <laughs> um i figured i would make a video of what to do during this this very horrible time that everybody is dealing with around the world right now um this core now, I'm not going to say the whole thing because it's, YouTube is, how should I say it? They're not allowing the full word. So if you talk about, if you actually say what's going on, then like they don't allow your video to go up or something like that. And I'm not for sure exactly what. But um, anyhow, so I'm going to say core, short for what's going on. Um, but today's video is what um, if you're bored, basically what you can do to keep yourself occupied. So without further ado, let's get on to the video. Woo! All right. So the first one to do, I made a list here. All right. So the first one is if you haven't done it already, start your YouTube channel. So if you, so right now, if, especially if you're not working, it's the best time ever to start working on a video that you've always like wanted to talk about or you're something that you're really inspired about. Then why not post it on YouTube and start making it? We have so much time. You have all the time in the world right now to do it. And I think it'd be a lot of fun. Number two. The next one would be to clean your living room, your bedroom, your bathroom, anything that needs to be cleaned that hasn't been done yet, your kitchen, anything like that needs to be cleaned, like your spring cleaning, if you haven't done any spring cleaning yet, this right now would be the perfect time to do so. Number three. Workout. So I know workout. A lot of people do not like working out, but personally, I like to work out and I like to be healthy. And I think I mean, might have shared a video already about some of the workouts that I like to do in a workout, particularly that I found on YouTube here that I love to do. So I believe that is going to be somewhere down below. So if you want, you can check out my other videos on that. But yes, working out like one of my favorite workouts I like to do is cardio personally with abs so between cardio and ab workout i love to pieces especially pilates um the balance isn't the best so that's like the perfect one also i like and hit workouts there a lot but they also give you a good workout and you feel amazing afterwards <laughs> So I would highly recommend doing that. And if you're a type of person that doesn't really have a lot of equipment at home, there are so many workouts that you can use your body as a weight. So a full body workouts at home, no equipment. You can look up on YouTube and they have so many options that you can choose from. The next one is video call. So if there's somebody you haven't talked to in a while, so personally for me where I live, um, we're allowed to go out, like, get a workout, go for walks, um, limited, like, how many people we're, we're with. We're supposed to keep six feet distance of all apart, um, so it's kind of hard to talk to people and hang out with them. But if there's somebody you haven't talked to in a while, then a video call is a perfect time to do so. I had a friend that moved. And I haven't talked during a hot minute. Like, it's hard to see a, you saw each other in person. So, sometimes you'll even use a video call to do that. So, and lately, I know a lot of people been doing video call with family members they're not able to see. Some people haven't even left their house in, like, two or three weeks. And they use a video call to do that. So, that'd be an awesome way to spend your time. Alright, the next one is play a game so personally for me me and my fiance um we have a stack of board games and card games that we like to play so if you have games like that you can go and play um also my fiance has a xbox and a playstation so if that's something also that you like to do why not and not to mention you can even beat your boyfriend or your dad or your mom you know have a little contest and see like who's gonna win who your boyfriend you know your fiance um even your best friends like if, if they can come over or something you know that would be perfect um but yeah for sure definitely all right the next one is 
hairstyles. So if you're like me, for example, I I never really like, do anything with my hair like at all. So the most that I do really is I put it in a ponytail like that it's in right now, or I will just leave it down or put it like in the messy bun, um, or I'll just even put it like in a low bun, which is actually my go-to honestly, or I just leave it down. I don't really do much with it. So I think also a perfect time if you're into hair or you're or you want to be a cosmetologist, like whatever it might be, or you just wanting to look up and learn different hairstyles. I know YouTube and Pinterest has so many tutorials you can watch and do it, learn. So why not? Right now it's better than ever. So by the end of this whole lane is done and you're able to go out and explore and be free in the world, you can walk out with some nice cute hairstyles that you learned. The next one is become an entrepreneur. I am an entrepreneur. I absolutely love it. Um, I work with an amazing company called Arbonne. I actually did an unboxing. Um, you can go check that out down below in my other videos that I've done. Um, I love it. I've been doing it for a few months now. And I love the products. They're healthy. And if you're dairy, soy, gluten, or even if you're vegan, like it's all free. And... This would be perfect for you. If you can't have dairy, then you can, then you can have these products. You know, it's um, not just focused on nutrition. You have hair, you have facial, you know, cleanse, you have facial masks that they do. There's this one that's a detox, and it's for, like, oily or, like, acne. And my face gets really oily easy. So that's also something that you can look forward into doing. I absolutely love it. Um... But yeah, if you're bored and you want some like extra income to come in, then that'd be something that you can also look forward into doing. All right, the next one is a photo shoot. I just done this one recently. So if you're bored, um, I know a photo shoot can be a little bit hard to do by yourself, but if you also have that time that you can put on your phone before it snaps a picture, that's what I did. Otherwise, you have something that you can come over or you have something that you live with that can do the photo shoot. Why not? Do you like a little photo shoot contest? Like, who can take the best kitchen picture or who can take the best living room picture or, you know, or something like that. It'd be really fun. You know, use imagination to go wild. All right, the next one is to learn makeup. Now, I used to be really into makeup a lot. Um, I just do my eyes and my eyebrows. So that's pretty much it. Um... I might do some shadow or mascara, but if you don't know how to do any makeup at all, if you don't know how to do you know, foundation or contour, or there's a certain kind of eyeshadow like you want to do um, and learn how to get it down, then I think today, like or tomorrow, or whenever you might want to do it or start it, it would be a perfect time to start learning those workout or those um, workouts. <laughs> yeah, workouts. Um, <laughs> the um, uh, <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the makeup tutorial, sorry, I, I'm just, right now, um, <laughs> but makeup tutorials, yes, that's why I met, makeup tutorials, um, learning how to do that certain time makeup tutorial, or anything else particularly that you want to do that doesn't have to be eyeshadow, so that can be another thing that you can, um, waste time or, you know, spend time doing. The next one would be a date night. So if you have a boyfriend, you know, girlfriend, um, fiance, husband, you know, wife, whatever that might be, and if you want to do a date night, there. Like my go-to date nights, because my fiance doesn't get out of work until like at late at night. He doesn't get home until like almost like ten, like ten twenty ish, ten thirty. So my ideal is snacks, no matter and no matter what the snacks may be, like popcorn. Or like some fruit, like I love fruit, like watermelon, ugh, best thing ever. Um, grapes, like no matter what it might be, ice cream, candy, um, anything that your heart desires. And doing Netflix with like twinkle lights, like blankets, being all cozy up on the couch, like that's a really cute date night. Unless you want to get all dressed up and fancy and pretend like you're going out or something. Or if there's places near you where you live that do takeout or 
pick up or that you need to do delivery, like if they're still doing that, you can go and pick up the food and then bring it home. It may look like you kicked it and then do like a cute little dinner table night type thing or something. Um, I've seen that, like some videos on that, like some people done. So that's really cute and do some candle or something like whatever, whatever you guys are into or what do you want to eat or whatever like that. That'd be something really cute that you can do. Or if you don't have a significant other, um, you can do like a fun girls night or something instead of like a little date night with some girls and it'd be, yeah, it'd be cute and it'd be so much fun, you know, just just play with it and just, you know, have fun. That's all that matters. Alright, so the next one is I love, I love is clothes shopping. So, um, I know a lot of stores are closed down, you can't go in there and shop, but who loves staying in bed and shopping online and having it delivered to you? That's another thing you can do, like, if, you, um, if you're still working or, um, or if you just want to go and just, just shop, get extra money to spend or whatever it might be, shopping online is one of the things that you can still do. And it was that piece of clothing that you saw in the store one day that you were able to get and you can get it online. Now here's your chance to, you can get it online. Um, the next one is, um, is hiking. I absolutely love to hike. Um, I just recently went hiking with my fiance. I absolutely love it. I just love getting outside and having fun. And if over here where I live, that's something that we're allowed to do. We're allowed to get out and walk, but we have to make sure we're being careful and hiking six feet at all times while we're doing it. And we're allowed to go on trails that are still open and available to us. And, um, sorry, I was gonna, I feel like I was gonna burp. Um, so that's something that we love to do personally, and it just gets your heart rate going. And during this time, it's highly important more than ever is to make sure your body, you're being healthy, you're keeping your body, your heart rate up, and you're eating healthy. Like, you know, your body's getting the vitamins that it's getting to help, like, make sure that your system's going to be able to fight off this, you know, that's going on. So, right now, it'd be a perfect time to get outside and get some fresh air. If you've been stuck inside this whole entire time, um, and just relax and, you know, go walk with a friend or a family member that you can, or, like, you're significant other that you can walk with um yeah all right so the next thing to do is um sorry I'm tearing my handwriting here <laughs> the next thing you can do is do a 24 hour challenge um I've seen these videos like all over I just recently I'm subscribed to this one girl um and she just recently posted this video 24 hours in her bathroom. I mean, my bathroom was really small, so that couldn't really be possible for me to do. But, I mean, imagine 24 hours in your bedroom. 24 hours, like, in the kitchen. 24 hours on your couch. Like, you can't leave your couch. 24 hours, like, living in your vehicle. Like, I've seen some girls post 24 hours staying in your car for the whole time, sleeping in your car. Um, 24 hours, um... You know whatever you want to do like that would be fun and that kind of goes back to the you know making a YouTube channel like posting like these fun cool videos that people like would love to watch and just be your goofy like yourself and um yeah it would just be so much fun honestly um, if you do comment below your channel and I'll go and watch your YouTube videos all right, the next one would be um, is to walk. So similar to like the hiking, um, but like if you live in a neighborhood or there's just like paths you can just like just just like simply just walk, you know, or even by yourself, like plug plug your ears in with headphones and just go out and enjoy the sun. Where I live in the complex area, there's so many people out like walking their dogs and getting fresh air. So yeah. The next one would be to change or move your furniture around. I love to change things up a lot. Like, I'm a type of person that gets bored with a lot of things. So, if this is something that sounds like you, then I would highly recommend, like, if you've been wanting 
to like, oh, I don't like the TV there. Let's move it. Like, go ahead, move it. Like, change your living room around, change your bedroom around. If somehow possible, you can change your kit your kitchen around. Do that. I just recently moved some things around. Um, if you can change your bathroom around, like change your bathroom around, or if you want to go all out and do like tiles, the carpet, like if that's something that you can do, knock yourself out, girlfriend. Just like, just go and do it. Like do, do what your heart is content with doing. <laughs> My cat. <laughs> um, I love him so much. He's such a little cutie pie. Um, but anyhow, the next one is, um, cheese your animal. <laughs> um, if you have a cat, like I have two cats, um, this little fur ball right here, and then my other one is laying down sleeping in a corner over here. But um, like cats, I mean they're hard to teach stuff. But like if you want, like I even seen some people going back to like the walk conversation, walking their cats outside. Like I've never personally done it, but I guess some cats like that. So like going back to the whole walking, you can go out and walk your dog. You have a dog. You can walk your dog. Dogs love it. I know for a fact. But um, like yeah, even teach your dog how to you know play dumb or play dead. Um, if they don't know how to, like, stand, like, on a hind leg, sit pretty, you know, do something with your animals, like, you know, like, just have fun with it, honestly, and teach them, like, if there's a trick that you've been wanting to teach your dog, like, that they don't know how to, or even a cat, um, perhaps you, you can teach your cat how to do a trick, um, then go for it, that's something that you can, you know, have fun with to do and everything, and, yeah. So the next one is binge watch. I I feel like that's what I've been doing a lot lately is Netflix. You know, I'm running out of movies to watch. So comment below what movie or TV show series that you love to watch that you finished watching. Um, that would be awesome to watch. Like, give me some ideas and pointers for sure. Um, like, if there's that movie that you've been wanting to watch and you haven't watched yet, then watch it. Or just recently, me and my fiance, we love Harry Potter. Like, we watch all Harry Potters in one weekend. And so that's something that you can do. Or there's a TV show series that you've loved and you haven't seen it in a while. You can do something like that. Like, binge watch a whole weekend or whole week. Like, you're not working at all. Or, um... Sorry, <laughs> I live in an apartment, and so there's, I'm like in this smack dab in the middle. There's people above me and people below me. And so, um, I can just hear people just like constantly like walking above me and just, it's annoying. Um, but anyhow, <laughs> um, but yeah, if there's a TV show or a movie that you've been wanting to watch, you haven't watched yet, or you want to watch it again, knock yourself out. It even goes back to that date night type thing. Like, honestly, just have fun with it. And just, yeah, just have fun. Um, the next one is um, bake or cook. So if there's a recipe that you've been wanting to make and you haven't made it yet, or if you just love to bake or cook, um, knock yourself out, like teach yourself new recipes. Um, if you have a sweet tooth like me, I am, I have a, such a huge sweet tooth. Like I can eat sweets like all the time and I know it's so bad for you, but, um, yes, honestly, like teach yourself a new recipe. If you love to bake or, you know, cook, you know, either or knock yourself out and just have fun with it. Um, Another thing is to bike, go for a bike ride. So if you have bikes or anything, um, find a nice trail or your complex area or whatever, like wherever you guys like to go, like bike riding that you're able to still go to on bike ride. Um, then yeah, that that's like a fun, it kind of goes back to like the whole workout. Like honestly, like, like when I was saying cardio or hit workouts, you know, it doesn't have to be something like really hard or something like that. Like anything that's like a nice, like, that can just get your heart rate going and um that you can just get your body moving for like at least 30 minutes that's awesome that's amazing like if you love it like I love like if you're doing a sport like I love volleyball so like if you're able to play volleyball or if you have like a tent thing like um that you can set up in the backyard or just anything else honestly um tennis if there's a place nearby that you can play tennis at um yeah <laughs> oh, 
I love you. But um, yeah, for sure. So sorry, there's somebody like walking, walking outside. Alright, so the next one is do your nails. I just recently did mine and then fingernail, and my fingernail is like the the paint polish is coming off. It's chipping. But um, if you're the type of girl that loves to go to places a lot and get your nails done, now is a perfect time to learn if you don't know how to do the nails like they do it in the salon professionally, or you know just. Have fun, you know, learn how to do different things with your nails and just go crazy. Uh, the next one is to do, is to pamper yourself. Um, personally, when I take a shower, I just wash my hair. Like, I wash my hair like every other day or every like three days or so. I like wash my hair because it needs it a lot. And then I just get in and get out um, unless you need to shave. I hate shaving my legs in order to keep up with it. I just shave them like every other day. So like tomorrow I'm gonna have to shave. <laughs> Comment below if you take a shower slash bath at night or in the morning. I I'm constantly back and forth with it, honestly. Like for a while I was taking showers in the morning and then I switched till nighttime and then I'm back to the morning again. <laughs> so comment below which one is you. Or if that's what you do like I do, then Comment below. Um, see here. Oh, pampering yourself. So, like, doing your nails. That's like a pamper, I guess. Um, if you need to shave your legs, you might shave them in a while. You can shave them. Or if you want to take a nice bubble bath, candles lit, music going, um, full on like hair mask, like the whole shenanigans, like everything. Like, I feel like now's the time to do it. Like, take advantage of it, girl. Like, you deserve it. Especially like you know, if you never do it. Here you go. Perfect time. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I think that's it, honestly. Oh, um, what else you can do is uh, go through your clothes. Like, if there's clothes that you don't wear no more, then go through your closet and then get rid of clothes that you don't wear. And then, like, try selling them. I know some apps, like, you can, I don't know what they're called. I never use them. But, like, if you look up on in your app store, you can find apps that, like, Poshmark, I think that's one or something like that. Um, but, yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, like, sell your clothes, things that you don't wear. Or if you just don't want to sell them, if they're old, they're not, like, worth it. Like, they don't have the worth money for it. You know, just throw them away or, or something. Or Goodwill, like, they're probably not even open right now. But, you can always try. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much... Yeah, I think that's pretty much it of what I wanted to talk to you guys today. Um, I think I covered most of the things that I could think of. Um, yeah, honestly, yeah. Um, or you can even make a list of, um, see, like, what's like a bucket list? There you go. You can do a bucket list, like make a list of buckets, things that you want to do as soon as you're able to run free into this world, everything's done and uh, over with, uh, what's the first thing that you're going to do? Or, um, like, just, you know, just make a list, you know, get yourself prepared. Um, yeah. So, uh, guys, I hope you loved this video. Please stay tuned for my next one. It'll be coming up real soon. And I'll talk to you guys then. Bye.